What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. The 19th of April, we're taking a look at Aerodrome Finance slash the United States dollar on this Coinbase price data here. Ticker symbol A-E-R-O-U-S-D, Aerodrome. Guys, we actually had a decent close on the 18th of April in the cryptocurrency markets. Today is Friday the 19th. Let's jump into a couple scenarios that could play out here in the near term for one aerodrome two bitcoin and we'll wrap this video up with a bitcoin chart at the end welcome to the channel guys appreciate all the support so here we are looking at a daily chart of aerodrome we have some price data going back to february of 2024 so we don't have a ton of history obviously but the price has made a massive run higher so we've essentially from the low tick to the high tick, about a 32 or so hundred percent move. But let's take a look at what's going on right now and what we think may be in play here. So the last aerodrome video, the last arrow video, we talked about a a couple different scenarios. One, we talked about a lower area uh, holding, an important area, at least that I think, guys, is important for the price to hold. That is right there at the dollar thirty-eight seven sixty-four level in green, right here, dollar thirty-eight seven sixty-four. See, so I have an arrow right there. So there's a lot of support. You can see all these candle wicks wicking down to that level before we got the. Big breakout on the 7th. That, that was the 37% day. So far, we haven't got down to that level, which is good. We actually traded quite a bit lower yesterday. Looks like we hit a low of $1.45, and then we closed up quite a bit at $1.65. So we got down around that area, not 100% to it, obviously, and then got pushed back up. So that was good. We really had a big reversal in Bitcoin which is also good to see. So for, if for some reason these markets continue to roll over lower, although I think that might be over for now, we'll see. $1.36,764 is important to hold. I think if that is undercut and we get a weak close below that, I think uh, the odds really flip that the prices head you know, quite a bit lower, perhaps down to like 79 but I think right now by the close yesterday of Bitcoin on the 18th of April, it looks, it appears, and we'll get into the Bitcoin chart at the end of the video, that the selling is probably over, at least for the short term. So we should see higher prices here. But hang around to the end. We'll get into that Bitcoin video. So keep your eye on uh, $1.36,764. That is our area. We do not want to close below that. We have been pulling back here for a couple days, not too much. So when you see a chart kind of pull back like this, and we saw it right here, guys, we had this pullback here, and then we look for a large move higher in price. Well, what are we getting right now? We're getting that pullback. We're looking for a large move higher in price. And like I said, if the selling is over for Bitcoin, we could start to see that large move higher pretty much any day now so we have we have uh two targets above the market that we want to talk about one is up there it's not too much higher than the highs it's at two dollars and 49 cents right here in white just above the highs it's 240 242 or 249 $2.42 right here in white. Not too high. The next target we have is up there at $2.82. Right up here. That's going to put the price, uh, let's see, $1.66. We are we're at about a 70% move higher. We're trading at $1.66. So $2.82 would be about a 70% move, which is very impressive. 
And then the 242, not quite as high. That's about a 46 or so percent. So if the Bitcoin chart is the selling is over and uh, Aerodrome, you know, follows suit and we get a similar move that we saw back here, it's, you know, a very similar time frame. We could start to really see this thing move quite a bit higher. Once again, those targets are $2.42 and $2.82. And those are 40, call it 45% to the 242, and then call it 70% to the 282. Those are my targets to the upside. Let's also, I know a lot of you are looking for much higher targets for Aerodrome. I understand that. But right now, the chart tells us that those are the highest targets. But like I said, and people have written in the comments, we don't have that much price data to go off of. That is correct. So what we can do here is we can throw the fibs up. We'll take this swing high here, which is 237, right around there. We'll take our low, which came in on uh, well, today, actually, the 19th. Those lows are $1.45. So we'll go down here to $1.45, right about there. Actually, make this a little bit bigger here for you. So we have the fibs to go off of to give us an idea of you know where the price could uh, end up if it really starts to move higher uh, to the upside. So we have one up there. It's slightly above my 282. It's at a dollar. Excuse me. It's the 1618 fib is at three dollars and twenty-two cents. And guys, that's just based off of this swing high here on the 12th and the swing low today on the 19th. You take the high and the low and you connect those with the fibs, and it gives you some upper. Now, there's no guarantee that the price gets up to call it the 3618, which is at $8.60. But if the price starts to get close to that and hits that level and you get a pullback, well, that's because there is a important FIB level there and it's going to have a uh, push or a pull on the market. So like I said, 1618, 322, the 2618, $5.26, 3618, $8.00. 60 cents and we can go a little higher if you'd like for the 4236 fib up there at 1166 guys so you can really let your mind run here and you know let your wildest dreams you know come to reality here with the fibs okay because the fibs will keep going on and here is a little bit of proof the 1626-3642 Three dollars and twenty-two, five dollars and twenty-six, eight sixty, eleven sixty-six. So, my highest target right now, and will change and will move higher as price moves higher, is two dollars and eighty-two cents. But the fibs obviously give us way higher targets. Uh, three, five, eight, eleven, sixteen. So let me know where do you think this price will find its top. If Bitcoin is getting ready for its next rally here, let's say the bottom's in for now, we start to break out higher, start to test the highs and then move up. We could be in for another very law, uh, large move higher in Bitcoin. And I would think my 282, if that's the case, will easily be hit. Perhaps it acts as resistance for a couple days and then the price moves higher. And if that's the case, I'll have higher price targets. But here you go. Here is the fibs. Where do you think uh, Aerodrome could really end up here by the end of the cycle? I have Bitcoin targets in the six figures. So if they're hit uh, easily, we're going to see a much higher uh, Aerodrome than 282. I understand that. But like I said, as price moves higher and consolidates, my price targets will also continue to um, move higher as well. So that's kind of my thoughts here on Arrow is we want to keep an eye if markets get hit hard again and sell off. $1.36, really want that to hold. Basically, if that doesn't hold and the markets close below that, the odds just really flip into the bearish scenario 
and favor a more larger downside move. That's basically all that means. Doesn't mean there's a guaranteed sell-off coming, but if you were going to play the odds, the odds are favoring heavily that the bears are going to be in control for a while and lower prices should be to come. So, you know, pretty much anything above that right now is is good. We're just consolidating. We have this this move lower here and we have targets to the upside and with so far the action that we're seeing today um it looks like that we could be in a at least sideways to if not higher move um for now we'll have to see day by day bitcoin looked pretty good let's take a look over at the bitcoin chart and don't forget let me know your thoughts on aerodrome down in the comments um, all comments are welcome guys bitcoin over to btc usd so the Bitcoin chart, yeah, for some reason I thought this was yesterday's candle, it's today. We're getting a very nice reversal off an important level, guys. We took out some lows. We took out this low here on the 17th. We didn't take out this low over here on the 5th, but we are finding some very good support at 60,205.47 and moving higher. So this has a look to me, and it, of course it could be a one-day wonder that the market buyers are in here supporting Bitcoin, and we could see a uh, a rally start here. We'll see. We'll see how today's close. If we close higher, then I would expect um, higher prices in the days to follow. You know, into the weekend. If we just start to really close lower, then things are looking dicey again, and we could start to um, in the, be in the early stages once again of a much larger move lower. Like I said, 54.599 is, uh, is a target down here. So, hey, for the bulls, I hope that this is, and it looks like it is, the early stages here of a good rally taking us back up into the higher end of this consolidation. Like I said, I have much higher Bitcoin targets. There's one up there at 96,000. I have another one at 130,000. Um, so, hey, let's hope that this is just a pause in a much larger leg to the upside. We have a bunch of levels here. We'll watch in between. Um, we're not going to talk about them at the moment, but you can see them on the screen, you know, 60, 68, 71, et cetera. And then we have our support level, 60,205. Let's see, guys. It's Friday. You have a great day. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you are not yet joined here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Appreciate it. Have a great day.